Haslam. So a massively altered Mont Saint Anne course. You can see the start loop marked with a dotted line, and they head out onto the race track proper up these really, really steep climbs and then into torturously steep rock sections in the woods. Easily one of the hardest laps of the year. We have had 200, sorry, 2.9 kilometers in length. Loops back around in this little nibbly section, heads back towards the start finish straight down into that wee woods, wee punchy climb back out to the finish line. They are under starters orders here, the UCI Cross Country Olympic World Cup Finals. Red lights waiting for them to turn green in Mont Saint Anne. And green they go, Lara Steger in the centre off your picture with the white sleeves, leaves the line, they're all the way safely. Who is going to win the drag race up to the first corner? Martina Berta as ever is up and amongst them, as is the overall title holder, Puck Peterson. Yeah, Puck Peterson, a good start. She knows what to do in these conditions. She loves these conditions. And she's used to it to ride in it. Absolutely. Heading towards frontless there in the orange Hello, vest. Is she'll land a Neff as well, right in amongst it at the start of this one. Neff. Zena Fry alongside her. And Puck Peterson leads them though up the climb. And Yolanda Neff also. She will be more motivated than ever. She won here before. She knows what to do. She knows these, that she has to need a good start. She can make up some time in these descents. And it's very off camber at the exit there. So, and there are some roots, some smaller roots that you can't see. So, I am not surprised that Puck's front wheel slid out. And that's the front wheel is really what you watch. When the front wheel slides, that's when these whoa, riders. Whoa. Jenny, oh, Rispitz, Jenny wants to get rock. Jenny Rispitz blast past Martina Berta at the bottom <laughs> of that descent. She's not scared at all. She knows she's feeling better and more comfortable than Berta. You can just tell when you're racing. So she she left it all out there to get in front because that can be the difference between 30 seconds. Really, it adds up. Oh, we oh. never, we 190 never, beats per minute. We never saw such a high heart rate of her She's trying. Never. Here comes the. Compto. Here traction. we go. <laughs> oh, but she's going to have a stop. She needs to have a new rear tire. Tire change time in the tech zone for Luana Lecomte. So Let's see how quick. The rear it's tire tougher. always takes a bit more time. As ever, front. as ever in cross-country racing, so much of this is determined on whenever, where you get the puncture, the proximity to the tech feed zone. Lecomte has to stand there and watch as the team go to work. Run and ride, run and ride. Yeah. Mount, dismount. It's so difficult to find a good rhythm on a course like this. It looks like it starts to rain again, potentially. You sure. can just see the puddle there, yeah, looking like there's a bit of moisture. Oh, and see, now Jenny Rizvitz can see Puck Peter say in that last Peterson shot, right? again, running down here. And if Jenny Whoa. can see... Oh, misses the seat. She missed. <laughs> yeah, if Jenny can see Puck struggling on this descent, not easy to run down, so impressive. I think that will make her mo more motivated, but she seems to have been bogged down in that mud pit. Oh, oh Risp is in trouble oh. here as well in the top tube, needs to get off it. No, back in the seat. Wow. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> no fear, nothing she has. Yep. Techers, techers from Jenny Risp. The catch is on, Luana Lecomte has arrived at the front of the race as Puck Peterson retakes the lead from Jenny Risfitz. Heating up nicely in an otherwise extremely cold Mont Saint Anne. And they are back together at the front. What do you do now if you're Luana Leah? I think I take a moment to relax and recover and draft, especially on this. I had to correct Sam Gaze on this last week. He always uses this word relax as well. It's not really <laughs> relaxing, is it? <laughs> no. That kind of thing over the course of a race will add up that water splash. Hopefully, whoa, whoa the comp oh. down at the bottom oh. of that wrist fence down. The comp smiling as she gets up. Oh, and Rufus <laughs> not heads back out. But, not but crashing. Rufus ran down because of Luan. They come to crash in front of her. She took, she used her brakes, and then she was sliding immediately. And that's brought Peterson back towards the front now. But then it's Luan Lecomte. Lecomte. Lecomte in the lead now. But Rick, you said she, it felt like she was smiling after her crash. Yeah, she got up and there was a big <laughs> beaming smile. It wasn't a grimace. I, I know a grimace when I see it, and that wasn't it. 
Luan Lacombe then, 29 kilometers an hour through the speed trap. It made me laughing when you, when you told it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Lacombe loves it. I guess she loves every single aspect of mountain biking. <laughs> well, it's that thing we talked about earlier. It's like some people can just look at conditions like today and say, well, the pressure's off. There's not much grip out there. I've just got to do the best I can do. And Look at the speed she's heading up this climb again, at, though. Again, if you look to the course in general, so many difficult and slippery sections, and then on such an easy section over there, just crossing that river, yeah, it went wrong. Yeah, you relax, a front wheel slides out, and then Jenny Rizvitz having to slam on the brakes, force there. And Rizvitz is no stranger to coming back from a crash. In Lenzerheide, I believe, maybe her first World Cup win years ago in 2016. Yeah, she, she, yeah, it felt like the, the pressure went off, out of her body, and also the performance wasn't there anymore. I mean, and that, that mean in winning a race or finishing fifth, how she did. Look at Jenny Rispitz closing the gap on Luana Lecomte there on foot, but Lecomte rides to the top of that one. But for me, it feels like Puck really likes to win today as well. I mean, she's really pushing hard. It's kind and she lost her time in the descents. It's yeah. kind of her thing, I isn't mean, it? Winning is winning. kind of her thing. Yeah, That's I what mean, she likes yeah. doing. And even after already taking the title, taking the title in short like last Friday. Here we go. Look at Luana Lacombe. 32 seconds now ahead of Risford. What a ride. A woman on a mission. You could see it already. In the first lap when she that had that first descent. Time. That first descent, you could see it. Yes. There is Jenny Risfitz. I think equal in the descending, Jenny Risfitz and Luan Lecomte, but the climbs. Luan Lecomte is a bit faster. The back marker. Number 61. Now it looks like Jenny Risfitz from her face is struggling a little bit with this effort. I'm not surprised Loana Lecomte just lighting up this track and leaving Jenny Rizbis to ride in her ashes. Yeah, there's not much to light up out there in that rain, <laughs> but she, I know what you mean. She's absolutely right in her own race at the front of this one, Lecomte. But it's been all about this woman today, Loana Lecomte. Here she comes then, your winner today. The winner of the UCI World Cup Finals, Luana Lecomte, has been marvellous in the mud, superb in the slick. Luana Lecomte takes the win in Mont saint -Anne. Never, never look back, Luana Lecomte. Incredible descending throughout, unbeatable climbing, shrugs her shoulders. What a performance from the French national champion. Jenny Risvids was with her for most of it. Valiant, valiant effort in second. Best we've seen her in cross-country Olympic this year. Yeah, a strong performance also from Jenny Rizvitz. Absolutely fantastic. But there are the Canyon team celebrating with Lecomte. And look at this. Two competitors who give absolutely everything to the racetrack today. Yeah, you really feel like you both survived battle out yeah. there. It's kind of a bonding experience, really. <laughs> I know these women are racing against each other. And you're like, we made it. We made it through all of this. Well, Rispids steps off the race bike and looks down the track to see the UCI World Cup overall double title holder, Puck Peterson, <laughs> celebrates third place. Again, she knows, that's a celebration of a rider who knows that she's been in a battle. As here are confirmation. Here is confirmation of your race results. The comp, Rispids, Peterson, Neff, Berta, Steger, Blunt, Keller, Fry and Kohler are the top 10. Five minutes separating the top ten. Such was that pace from Luana Lecomte. So much of it generated on the descents. Then it's Spezia, Jackson, Batten, Terpstra, Bowie, Tauber, Lloyd, Gibson and Mittervalner. Congratulations, what a race. It had everything. You had a flat tire, you had a crash, but you came out unscathed with a smile on your face. How are you feeling? It's a very surprise, so I know and I was um, in good shape, so I didn't know how the race um, we 
happy because in this condition it's uh, totally crazy. So I'm uh, I'm very happy about uh, about my performance in the downhill and uh, yes, I felt good in the climb too. So yes, flat tire in the first time of the year or since I since, since I am in Canyon, it's the first time. So it was cool. <laughs> But uh, yes, I'm very happy and thanks to all the mechanics of the team for, for their jobs. With, the, with this result, you've also secured the second place in the overall. So what does that mean to you? I didn't know because uh, I missed uh, one World Cup. So the overall was uh, second goal. But uh, yes, it's, it's cool. <laughs> We're heading into the off season now, so what's next for you? Do you get to have a, a rest? Ah uh, yes, <laughs> I can't wait. It was a long week because I I only think about uh, the off season, holidays, and uh, I think it was one of the the of it was my principal motivation <laughs> this week. So yes, now it's time to just uh, enjoy times with. Uh, with my family, my friends, and uh, have fun on a tonight party. <laughs> Great to see you get your second win of the season. Well done. Thank you. Here's confirmation then. Puck Peterson obviously had that title already locked up, but Luana Lecomte after that superb win in Mont Saint Anne leapfrogs her way into second place in the overall ahead of Mona Mitter-Valner who won, also won two races this year. Then Steger, Keller, Berta, Risfitz, Ferran Prevo, Richards, and Terpstra, the top ten at the end of this season. Neff was 11th, then Henderson, Fry, Gibson, Boy, Courtney had a puncture today, Blunk, Batten and Loiv. Lecomte, Risfitz, Peterson, Neff and Berta 